Ladies and gentlemen, just wanted to take the time to let you know that the lawsuit will be filed. We sent a copy and put a copy of that online, and I will try to put the link for where a copy of the suit can be found in this video. We sent a copy to all of our clients. If you haven't received one, you can follow the link that's in the title of this video. All you have to do is copy and paste it. Do not email saying, it didn't work, because that's not our fault. We've already checked the link to make sure it works. And those of you who are sending emails regarding videos and your difficulties, please stop. It's not what we asked for. Not on this channel. I know, I know, I know. But I'm so sick and tired. Got to go talk to Anthony Hamilton and Nappy Roots about that one. Ladies and gentlemen, it works out like this so that you can understand. We have over 300 clients, and that means that I definitely receive over 300 emails a day. I finally got my emails down to nine. Whew, Lord, if only you knew. And that's from all of the emails, over 200 emails yesterday, just on the lawsuit. I only needed six of you. I didn't say that because I didn't want people thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't do it. You know, maybe I should just wait for the other person and not even get five. The reason being is in order to get a class action lawsuit going in federal court, and I don't care if they know this because this is their rules, you must request of the court to have the so-called matter considered a class action. So you have to get permission. We don't have to get permission when we have more than six people on the same suit to be classified as a class action. I have more than 50 signatures that I am attaching to the suit. You guys don't understand. That makes this thing really thick. Over 100 pages now. Because our clients are automatically added to the suit. So their names are already listed as plaintiffs. Doesn't matter if you're a part of the, give me one second to get rid of this. Doesn't matter if you're part of the DAP program or the Fourth Amendment program. That's part of the agreement that you signed with us. So you're automatically included. Yay! It's just the people who sent in their signatures, besides our clients, are going to be receiving a higher percentage because that's what we promise. Defrauded homeowners of America, you individuals are automatically included in this suit. Now, everybody thinks $400 billion is a whole lot of money. It is one of the largest suits ever in this country. They don't focus on that number. That number means nothing. The banks get the fractional reserve, people. They gave out $9 trillion to people over a three-year period. The Pentagon lost over, in the past 20 years, the Pentagon has lost over $30 trillion that they can't account for. Talk about audit the Fed. You need to audit the Pentagon. But nobody's doing that. So please understand, $400 billion is not a lot of funds. But when Barack Obama came into office, everybody, Barack Obama, remember him? Bush had already had go through Congress $798 billion to the Federal Reserve Bank's. To bail out. It was the bailout program. Y'all remember that bailout? AIG and all of them too big to fail? And then Barack Obama comes into office. Yeah, that it, I mean, that person. And he says that they were not going to reward deadbeat mortgagers who committed fraud. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And then the banks agreed that they committed fraud, but you reward them. You give them $28 trillion and all they had to pay back was the $798 billion? No. $400 billion is not a lot. We're not trying to break the bank. We're not trying to get even. We're not trying to do anything other than make sure every single person out there who had a mortgage during that last 50-year period of time who did not do anything other than pay their mortgage and lose their home for paying a mortgage that they didn't know any money on, that they're compensated. But what if they're long since dead and gone? Then their relatives will be compensated. 
That's it. That's all that's for. There's no reason anybody should have been homeless, but I told you guys when they foreclosed on all of those homes from 2008 to 2012 that that was going to create a huge homeless price crisis in America. And look at what it's done. Why? Because each one of those people had to now find another place to stay, a place to stay that was going to cost them more per month because now their credit was ruined. And because they now have to pay more per month, God, they weren't going to be able to afford that. Now they were going to lose. Families were going to be separated and split apart as a result of that. Now you have two separate individuals, husband and wives, that now need to find another place to stay that they can't afford. Now they're separated. But they're not going to be able to do that for so long because it's too much. They can't afford it. They don't have any extra monies coming in. And then people are losing their jobs. So you have homelessness. They knew this was coming. I knew it was coming. And it's here. Oakland should never be Oakland. So let's do something about it. That's why we started TTOPP to begin with. Okay? This was all coming. This has all been a plan. So bear with us. Now, for those of you who want to join and sign, there will be another opportunity. This won't be the only one. It would be a redundancy adding all of your names right now. There are several things we're doing with this particular suit. We're going to make sure that your rights and your interests are protected. I'm that guy. Why? Because if you gave it to anybody else, they would let a law firm come in and take over the case because the court will probably assign a law firm. But the one thing, there'll be a caveat and a condition to that. You bring anybody on to handle this case, they will not be able to settle nothing without approval. And if you think you're going to settle it for a couple of thousand dollars, you must be out of your mind. If you think you're going to sell it for a couple of hundred thousand dollars, you're still out of your mind. If you think you're going to sell it for a couple of hundred million dollars you are out of your mind too many people affected right after world war ii they started all of these programs these housing programs these job programs and got everybody going you want to get the economy going well let's help now we're going to segue right now we're going to switch to something else because i have two consults today and i got to get ready for this consult so we're going to talk about something just briefly ladies and gentlemen start doing your 1099-C's, writing off your bad debts. Just do the 1099-C. Forget your taxes for now. Forget your taxes for now. Do your 1099-C's. Now, that amass deals with your sole proprietorship. We, we've been trying to get everybody to understand this. Your sole proprietorship hasn't been doing nothing. But my sole proprietorship... Shut up. We ain't talking to you. We're talking about the people who's got the sole proprietorship all caps name and that all caps name just sitting there going to jail and going to court and getting fines and tickets and all of that. But you ain't writing none of that off. You should be writing off your taxes. All federal taxes are right offable. All federal taxes are business expenses. It's the cost of doing business. So write that junk off and then let them prove that you can't. Oh God, ladies and gentlemen, that's your way of buying bad debt. The government buys bad debt all the time. When you write off your debt, the government forgives it and you get tax credits. You just bought some bad debt, people. You're buying your own debt when you do it this way. So start writing off your stupid debt. Stop, 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 stop going through every single year, every single month, not writing off your debt. See, when you write off your debt, they have to destroy dollar bills. That's right. All of that junk that they created, if you start writing off your debt, they would have to destroy all of those extra bills they created. This is your A for V process when you look at it. 1099C, you're the creditor, and whoever owes you is a debtor. Whether it be the U.S. government, it's a debtor. Write off your debt. IRC 166 is the section it's under and tax topic 453, IRS tax topic 453. Go and read it. There is no limit as to the amount of debt you can write off. So write off your debt so that you can destroy those extra dollars that are out there that is causing inflation. You want to counter inflation? Well, write off your debt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I have a consult that I have to take care of. The lawsuit... We'll go forward. I will keep you updated. There's a lot of things that I won't be able to talk about because right now we're putting it out there. Now they get to see what's coming their way. They're going to be served. Their subpoenas are going to be involved. That's what we're taking care of today. Monday's a holiday, but it will be filed. 
okay? They will receive it. They will sign for it. They will show proof that it's been received. And ta-da. Then we'll move forward. And they will try to get it dismissed. But they won't be able to get it dismissed because we have valid claims. And the moment they get it dismissed, we're appealing it. Ladies and gentlemen, all the funds are coming out of my pocket. You ain't got to spend a dime, okay? I'm not going to be asking for no donations. <sighs> Sorry, it's just... This is what I've been aiming for to help you all. Yes, 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 I'm a party too because I had a home and we sold it and everything, but the bank took all the money on the sale and we only got a couple of thousand dollars on the sale. So, no, uh-uh, and y'all took my money and then y'all owe me interest from then until now and then you committed fraud. See, they cannot afford this lawsuit. Why? Because they'll be admitting fraud. Because that's what we're bringing up. Every time they took your note and they converted it to a negotiable instrument and then told you you owed them money, they committed fraud. Now, hold on. We're not charging them with fraud. No, fraud has to be proved by the elements. The record's going to prove fraud. Uh-oh. So, uh, but the Federal Reserve is a very powerful organization. It's more powerful than the Department of Defense. Without the Federal Reserve, the Department of Defense don't doesn't do anything. They can't pay their members. They can't. The, Department of Defense can't pay a single soldier without the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is the most powerful organization in America. You don't go up against the Federal Reserve, lady. Why do you think I put the petition out there so all of you can see it? That's to protect me, because if something happens to me, then somebody else will pick up the mantle and keep going. I doubt if anything will happen to me, but you know how they like to put people on vacation, coming up with all kinds of stupid things. This is what I do seven days a week. Okay? They've already been trying. They've been doing their investigations. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. I'm going to continue to do what I do, and that is serve my God with a complete heart and do things his way. He requires I follow the law. I will follow the law. I'm not going to skirt the law. don't need to. All right? I would rather have me in my corner than me on the other side coming at me i promise you that and so with that being said have a good day everybody just wanted to give you all an update whoo there's a lot of information all crammed into one video. gotta go